Oh, he got pissed. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's happening? He just ripped bit him in half. Oh. <laughs> this one's huge. Look at how good this is. Oh. What is going on guys? Today we've got one of the craziest, probably actually the craziest day of on fishing I've ever had in fishing of all time. Check it out. No clickbait. Guys, you probably won't believe what just happened, but I had another jerkbait on, just like this, except this literally snapped off and I just lost like a snook that was probably like 40 plus inches and that fish was probably my biggest snook ever. It was not even my fault too. You see why the whole thing broke. Like, <laughs> I keep fishing this seawall right here. This is where I got hooked up. I was using a husky jerk, guys. A little jerk bait. Twitching it down here. Got hooked up immediately, literally on the first cast. Next to this little pipe right here. He took me out into the middle. Huge run. Couldn't stop him for a while. And then my hook snapped. Could have been a giant redfish. Could have been a giant snook. Could have even been like a grouper or something. Oh, I just got hit right there. There he is. It's a big fish. It's Jack. It's all Jack. Guys, I don't know if you just saw that, but there is about a 40 inch redfish following this jack all the way up here, dude. 40 inch redfish. It's weird, I don't think I've caught a jack. I've caught a couple jack in the pond, but not this big. That's a nice jack, guys. I just saw like a 40 inch redfish in here. I'm not kidding around when I said that. Up now. It's a little snapper following him. Oh, it's the jack. The jack are everywhere. Look, look, look. They'll be following the other ones. Oh, it's the maharas. Look, when I pulled him up, there was a giant redfish following him. About to eat him last time. I want to get like over the shoulder. <gasps> there he is! Oh my god! Look at him! Look, look! 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 He's trying to eat him, bro. He's. <gasps> there he is! Oh my god! Look at him! Look! 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 Dude, if this thing gets eaten, bro, I don't know. I don't know. Got one. Get him! This is your rod. It's Jack, probably. Ooh, I need to put another shrimp on in case the redfish comes. Keep him in the water. Yeah, keep him in the water when you pull him up. What is it? Is it kind of big? No. Pull them up, pull them up, more. It's just that guy. Oh, it's the Maharas. See if the redfish follows up. There he is, he's right there. He's right there, he's right there. He's right there. Oh my god. Might come get my shrimp right back to you. 
Oh, you might eat yours, honestly. Just like following them for some reason. Do you see anything? He was following them a second ago. Yeah, keep him out of there. I think you'll know if the Mahara gets eaten. You'll feel that for sure. Oh, he got pissed. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's happening, bro? What was that? He just oh, ripped him in half. Did you see that? No, that was crazy. He ripped it off. It was too he fast. Ripped, yeah. Yeah. I saw him swim off with it. It was like this black, like figure. Oh, he you was saw it. It was big. like this he big, like, like carpet. that could have been a barracuda. It was. It was long and skinny. It was long not a jack. It was not a jack. Whatever it was, it's a big one, dude. Oh, Oh, he's at the wall. I can't move this fish. This is that giant redfish I was talking about. We're gonna have to walk him down to the beach over here to even get him. It's on your rod. Yeah. Your rod. God. Your rod has light line though. It might break. No. Your rod's like super, no. super light. All right. I have to get around these poles, so I'm gonna try and move around here. This is a giant fish. Yeah, I can't move him. I can't move. I'm trying to walk back. I can't without breaking the line. On your rod, I was about to leave. <laughs> oh, he's going this way. He's going fast. He's going fast. He's going fast. getting this right yeah. <laughs> so what we came here for right here I, I guarantee you it's a giant redfish last pull oh it's a monster bro I don't know let's drag him up in the grass here I can't see him yet can't see him yet. Oh, it's a redfish for sure. Yes. Oh wait, it's a jack. God. Oh, it's not big or something? Strong species, but I mean it's big. It's one of my biggest jacks still. I thought it was, thought it was a redfish though. He <laughs> does not want to come in yet. <laughs> he got posed for yeah. Big one. Yeah. Doesn't want to come in yet. He's going this way. I thought it was the redfish. That's why I got so excited. It's huge still. Huge. <laughs> nah. Just for fun. Oh, yeah. He's right here. Look at him. Huge. <laughs> oh, dang. Holy beach clapper. Whoa, he's big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he swallowed that. Where are Nah, I can't. 
Yeah. Uh, Jack or Val? Well, let me take I thought it was a redfish. <laughs> Huge. Huge. Hold on, stay. We're gonna throw him back. Huh? Is that yeah. a tongue? <laughs> oh, not that long. Yeah. He fought it for a long time. That was awesome. You got a picture? Yeah, I got a video. Look. Sweet. Yeah, it looks huge. You're gonna put it on your Instagram. It's awesome. Uh, that was just shrimp. <laughs> yeah, a tiny little shrimp. <laughs> I didn't catch any barracuda or redfish, but I definitely saw both in there. So that means this pond had big jack, big barracuda, and big redfish at least. There's probably other fish like snook. As far as saltwater ponds go, this pond definitely had the most amount of crazy different species I've ever seen. The combo I was using for most of the day was the Sharky 3, awesome inshore combo. I didn't expect to have such giant fish, otherwise I probably would have brought a little bit heavier setup, but you know, honestly it holds up really good. The one I've got with me right now is the seven foot. I've got it split up with 20 pound casking braid as well. And the leader we're using, I actually went with monofilament. It's casking monofilament, 30 pound. This stuff's super tough. Um, caught a lot of really big fish on it. Anyways guys, I started off throwing this combo, 30 pound casking mono leader. Um, just with a small jerk bait, didn't think anything out of the pond. There might be bass in there, if anything. And the first, literally the first cast, or maybe the second cast, I literally threw this little husky jerk right up against the seawall and it got crushed by something huge. Took me out for a run and snapped the hook off. I think I still have that exact jerk bait. I'll show you what happened to it. It's this one right here. It was just like a little green back, orange belly, super small husky jerk. And this middle hook is uh, the one that snapped off and made me lose a fish. So, I mean, it wasn't super tight drag or anything like that. It just must have been like a really hard head shake. Maybe the drag was a little tight, but just a really crazy thing. I've never really had that happen before with jerk baits, so that's that was pretty crazy. It could have been a big barracuda or something like that. After that jerkbait broke, I ended up putting on this little Zuyo Zuri. This one was a deeper diving, it's like a medium diver, the, the long bill. It's the hardcore series of the Yozuris. But this bait is perfect for when um, fish are biting minnows, feeding on white baits, stuff like that. So it's got a little longer bill though, so it's going to go deeper. It's good for fishing around bridges, deeper water. Um, this is what got the first jack. After that, the fish stopped really hitting um, artificials and stuff like that. So we actually went down to the base door, right down the road, and got some live shrimp because we thought, what else could be in here? Anything, really. So we went out, got some live shrimp, came back, and this is the little rig we were using. It's literally nothing but 30 pound cast king mono tied to a uh, yellowtail uh, jig, I believe it's called. Just a yellowtail snapper jig. It's literally just a small weighted J hook. It's got a 16 ounce weight. Um, this is the white one, they make pink and other colors as well. But this little hook is perfect. Broken a shrimp, you just hook it right through the tail. That little rig right there ended up being the ticket that caught the big fish, caught the big jack at the end of the day. Check out the links in the description. I have all the affiliate links for this awesome gear below if you wanna purchase any of that. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Also follow my Instagram, Facebook page. And don't forget to press the bell so you can see uh, all my new videos that come out. Should be coming out weekly as much as possible, guys. Sorry about the delay for this video. This video was filmed actually a couple months ago. The problem was this computer right here, my little Mac, look, was getting repaired. And I was about to lose a lot of videos that were on there. But we got them back. Now we're posting the videos. And we'll have more coming out here soon. So stay tuned for that.